upstairs early because I'm back now with Apple CEO Tim Cook. Here for his first interview since the launch of the highly anticipated and revolutionary new iPhones 8 and 10. They're getting a lot of buzz for features like facial recognition and the new cutting edge augmented reality technology, AR. Something you can have in your hands and use for the first time today. It's going to be downloaded today in all these phones that you have here. And Tim says it could change our lives. And so wonderful to have you here live with us. Tim Cook, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The live demo yesterday and earlier this morning, Ginger and some kids had a great time with AR. They were playing with various games, and people oh, yeah. want to know augmented reality. It's different, yep. it's new. That's on Apple right now. In fact, it's going to be downloaded later today. Tell us why this is a big deal, Tim. Well, this is huge because it's the first time that hundreds of millions of customers, actually later today, hundreds of millions of customers will be able to use AR for the first time. Mm -hmm. So we're bringing it to mainstream. If you've got an iPhone uh, 6S or, or later, you have augmented reality today. We made it really simple for developers to... Uh, design apps with their passion and bring it to everybody. And explain what it is, AR. It's, it's taking the virtual world and overlaying it to physical world. And so you saw a uh, demo earlier mm -hmm. this morning to position chairs uh, in, in a living room. We're seeing that right now. It's a, yeah. it's a fantastic uh, way to uh, shop. It's a, it's a fantastic way to learn. Mm -hmm. uh, you might even want to look at your favorite car and actually go in the car. And so you have to do that in a showroom today. You can now do that right from your living room. It's unbelievable. <laughs> well, it's, it's funny because, now, now face it, as you're talking about that, we're looking at the set, and then we're yeah. looking at how we just saw it. See, that's what we're seeing right now. Yeah. And then when we had the demonstration earlier, it shows such a difference. Now, we have to admit, AR has been around for a while, but Apple's putting its stamp on it. Yeah, What's making it different? Well, we're taking the, uh, the complex and making it simple. Okay. I mean, this is what Apple is so fantastic at. We want everybody to be able to use AR, and so we've taken the complexity that developers would normally have to do in their apps mm -hmm. and made it simple for them to convert all of their apps to an AR experience. And the thing that's very different about Apple is in one day, we can make AR available for hundreds of millions of people. And, so, and that will happen in a few hours from now. Just get ready for, your, for the is, download. You know when it comes in and says a download? That's what's going to happen on your phone. This is a day to, to remember. remember. This yeah. is a day to remember. This is a profound day. Mm. Let's talk a little bit about the, the 8 and 10, the yeah. two new phones, yeah. and the, the wonderful new options that are part of it. But there's one facial recognition that's getting a lot of attention because people are saying, wait a minute here, what is the potential of, because we're talking about um, this facial data of millions of people, and the potential that it could be misused or, or hacked. Should people be concerned about that, Tim? Uh, not with us, because uh, we're about your privacy. We want to protect your data because we know it's yours, not mm -hmm. ours. And so once you uh, place your face in mm -hmm. the phone, it's in the phone. Apple doesn't have it. We've encrypted it on your device. You make the decisions about who has it, not us. Uh, we're very protective of our customers' uh, data because we, we believe that privacy is very important in this world, that uh, there are hackers everywhere trying to, to steal your information. Right. We want it to be yours. It is not ours. It's been the hallmark of Apple from, from the very, very much so. beginning about that. Very, and we fought very hard for yeah. it. The headphone jack, gone. Now the home button, gone. I mean, what, I, mean I know you said that, that space is a premium on the phone. What's next? Well, Why the home phone? The well, home I, gone? you know, the home button is beloved, but we think that uh, having an edge-to-edge -edge display such that the whole phone is a display will be loved even more. <laughs> and so we're, we're doing that for all of us. Okay. Well, we have a, a couple of cu questions from our viewers, but I, yeah. I do want to ask you one question, though. Your response to when President Trump announced that he was going to change the laws that, that protect Dreamers, DACA, and you mentioned to your uh, beloved Apple employees that there were 250 Dreamers yeah. that you have, and you encouraged them and said that you were dismayed by that. But uh, now that the president seems to be willing 
to at least compromise with the Democrats. Are you encouraged by that at all? I, I am encouraged about it. These, these folks, and I think it's really important for everybody to understand, uh, these folks came to the country when they were very young. Most of them don't even remember coming to the country because they were one, two, three years old at the time. And, and these kids, if you talk to them, they deeply love this country. They have great jobs, they pay taxes. These, these guys are our neighbors, they're our coworkers, and so we feel it's essential that we not only allow them to stay in our country, but we welcome them, that we desire that they be here. Uh, I hope everyone reaches out and meets some of the dreamers because it will really warm your heart in, in meeting them. And so I, I am encouraged uh, that uh, Congress will pass a law to make this permanent. And uh, we're doing everything we can to, to advocate for that. It's good that we're having this dialogue. Thank Absolutely. You for, thank you for, for discussing that. Okay, back to the phone and yeah. the questions from, and they didn't, they didn't hold back. You know okay. that. You no, know, they All didn't right. hold back. One viewer asked, and you knew, you knew this was coming. Yeah. I understand inflation, et cetera, but yeah. don't you find the price tag for the yeah. iPhone 10 out of reach for the average American? Well, it. It's a value price, actually, mm -hmm. for the technology that you're getting. And as it turns out, you know, most people are now paying for phones over long periods of time. And so very few people will pay the price tag of the phone initially. Uh, also, most people actually trade in their current phone. Mm -hmm. And so that reduces the price further. And some carriers even throw in, you know, subsidies and, and discounts. And so when we look at it, the phone, the iPhone in particular, has become so essential in our daily lives. People want it to do more and more and more, and so we built more and more technology in to be able to do that. I love how you told me yesterday, you don't want to sell the most, you want to sell the best. Yeah, we've, Apple has never been about selling the most of anything. We don't, that is not our objective. Our objectives are not big revenues. Our objective is to make the best product that enriches people's lives. All right. We want to help people. I know you do, Tim. Here's another question. Okay, uh, this one says about Face ID. Can yeah. more than one, I love this, can more than one person use facial rec, rec on the same phones, kids on parents' phones, spouses, for instance? Oh, that's a good question. I wouldn't recommend that. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend that. Uh, no. So, yeah. Okay. So yeah. just leave it at that. You wouldn't I'd recommend, I'd you leave wouldn't it recommend at that. that. I wouldn't recommend, recommend that. that. Um, Steve Jobs, what yeah. you, when you had your announcement last week, you got really emotional. His DNA yeah. is still so much a part of Apple. You know, I walked in the theater that day, mm -hmm. and from the moment I walked in there, I know this may sound strange to your, your viewers, but I could feel him there. Mm. Uh, his, his DNA is very much the, uh, the DNA of Apple. And uh, the, the way that his philosophy of life is how we run the company. We don't sit and think about what would Steve do, but we think about the principles that Apple is based on, a, value, a values-based company that is making insanely great products that are simple to use where the technology takes the back seat, not the front seat. Mm. The user experience is top for us. We want users to be happy. And so th th this company still runs like that today. Yeah. And, and, and you can feel him in there, you can feel him in the products and in everything, and I love it that way. Very grateful and appreciate your passion and the creativity of you, Thank you. and your team. And so get ready for that download. AR yeah. is coming to your You guys phone. are going to love it. <laughs> Check it out. Okay. Tim Cook, thank you very much. Thank Always you, Rob.